Now I am ready to send uh, the configurations into my uh, past aspiration detector. However, I have a physical setup of tubes different from my original configuration, so I will change it. Uh, first of all, I have uh, this uh, channel pipe longer. It will be 2.5 meters. Okay, it's too much. I will delete some. Uh, this error because of the class I will also change the class it will you know, it must be changed in the configuration and calculation okay let me disable the cam so the setting class will be C, OK, OK, and the longer tube, 2.5, update holes, and I will delete also two holes that I do not need. OK, so four holes, flow is too uh, much, OK, I will set one, I can set fan speed one, two, three, Four is already too much. Okay, this is okay for my channel one tube, and let me change the tube two as well. So it will be 1.05. Distance to first hole will be 0.1, and distance from between the holes 0.4. No sense. And okay, and let me update holes. Okay, I will have also only two holes. Okay, and I will also add hole into here. Then this point eight distance to first hole is. Point four. And let me check the calculations. Flow is too low. I will send. Okay, so I must use. Ah, I also must change the class. So now the flow is too low. Mm -hmm. Still too low. Let me have the bigger holes. And one, two, six fan speed uh, are allowed. Okay, this is okay for me. I will save the project and now I will send uh, the configuration into. into my detector. For that, I will enter the maintenance mode. Okay, I am now in maintenance mode and I will connect the USB cable. Connect to the device. I will use admin password 3111. Okay. Let me make it smaller. Okay. Send configurations. Send configuration successful. Let me see in the logs what do we have here. Read device logs. Events channel alarm device initialization channel faults uh, clear logs I don't need them 
So configuration disconnect device. Okay, and now I will restart my device to apply the configuration. The next step is to drill uh, holes in the tubes. Okay, now I will drill uh, the holes into the tubes. For that I uh, opened the file with correct configuration and now I choose channel 1, calculations, no not calculations but reports by play out. And I will generate the report for channel 1. Okay, what uh, what I'm way, uh, finding, what I'm searching for is the sizes and distances on the tube. So I have pipe 2, holes up to 4, its uh, diameter size and absolute distance. Okay, I will export this report. This is for channel 1. Okay, let me export it. Report should be created on the desktop. Let me see. Uh, no, we don't see it. Ah, yes, we see this. Okay. So, okay. This is what I'm interested in. And I will do the same for the channel 2. Okay, channel 2 has two holes. Report pipe. Report. And now let me see. Okay. <clears throat> pipe 1, pipe 2. Length and drill schedule first pipe and two more holes on the second pipe and then cap without uh, without the hole okay let me export the second channel export is complete let me check it Yes, channel 2, channel 2, class A, and the holes. Okay, so now I will try to drill these holes as in my specification. Now I'm ready to drill the holes as specified and calculated in my project. First I will mark with marker uh, points where I want uh, to drill the holes. So let me see it. Okay, let me make it on the full screen. Okay. So these are my tubes, and I know I must drill hole here and two holes up here, and also. Uh, some holes in this longer tube. Okay, as a project, I know that the first hole is in here is about 40 centimeters, about a half of the uh, of my pipe. Okay, I will do it right here. Okay, let me see. I will uh, use uh, I will no, I will use drill that uh, uh, is made for uh, metals. It's not correct, but I have no other drills at the moment. I will discard the uh, tube. 
and now I'm ready to drill it. Let me see. Okay, one is done. Okay. Let me connect it back. Now, two holes up there. Uh, the first one is something like here. Okay, plus minus and. Okay, this one will be somewhere here. And the other one will be somewhere here. <coughs> Let me do this. Okay, one tube is done, and no, one channel is done. I have done the second channel, but I want to show you the correct drills. We may use, for example, a drill set from Panasonic named ASB bit from the uh, catalog, or Evotech named as well. So I will uh, now drill the other tube and we will see how, uh, how it works. Okay, let me start initialize and test the device. <coughs> Startup sequence will take about a few minutes, so let me wait until it goes online. So, okay, the device is now ready. I will show you the tubes. I have some holes. This is this is a channel 2 that has a E class. It has one, two, three holes. And the other tube has uh, also a few holes. Four, uh, as I remember, and this uh, class C. However, we will just test how the fire works. So this is the hole, yep. I hope you see it, and now let me do the test. You see, channel 2 is on fire, and also some smoke got into the first channel, and it also has a fire. And uh, it also shows the smoke level. Now the smoke level is reset, now we can reset our device. And I also connected the uh, uh, bells uh, to the channel 2, and it all, uh, also uh, goes on by the fire. This is in the standalone version. Now let me try to reset it. No, nothing. So we must enter the password first. For that we will enter to the maintenance mode. Okay, too quick. Okay, green. Now I will select the password, 3111. And you see I had no smoke levels in here, so I can reset it. So I press to reset. Okay, now the device is reset and ready to work. Okay, I finished up showing the device in work. 
I also will try to reset device by external input. Let me test. So what have I done? Then uh, the fire. Fire is uh, level three. Let me wait until it gets to zero. Okay, the second channel also uh, sends the smoke. Okay, smoke level is gone now, and now I can reset. So I will use external uh, reset. Yeah, I have only two wires, but you can make some button or whatever. And if you see. I have a LED that is telling me that uh, the detector is in fire condition. Okay, now I will reset it by external input. Yep, that is working. Let me simulate the channel fault. I will cover on channel 1 two holes uh, and we will see what will happen. Okay, as you see, channel flow indicator is now on the bar, it's still green. Okay, now we have a fault. Fault and low, uh, low flow. I will remove the tape from the holes now. Fault is still indicating, but now it's changed to green, and it seems it goes back to normal state. Let me wait until it goes to uh, the middle. So it's returned to uh, our normal state. 